Okay, so we are now ready to egg our sixth grade hall. It's been rising for about half an hour. So, Hadassah, if you want to continue for me, I'm going to grab the challah. Just check the egg. Throw it in here. I'm going to give you a fork. We'll start to beat it up. And we'll add just a touch of water. I mean, sometimes I add water, sometimes I don't. I don't know. What about you guys when you do your egg wash? I don't add water. Yeah. Either. How many so, eggs do you want me to do? Oh, let's do, let's do, I think we'll need four. Three. Three. Amend that. Oh, our big fluffy sixth grade challah. Looks good. So, um, I never added water for years. And then the other week I was like, I feel like I should add water. Just people say that. So I just did. It came out the same either way. I, so I, think, it makes the, I think it makes the egg you know, go further if you add the water. So that'll be good. Oh, do I have my paintbrush? Okay, so there's a few things that I like to put on my challah. There's sesame seeds, right? There's poppy seeds. Uh, do you guys like salt bagels? No. Oh, we're crazy for salt I've bagels. I've never had a salt I like bagel. everything with a little bit of salt in it. Right, okay, so that's this. So then we found this, and we were like, here, open this up. This is like the best thing. We like smother the challah in it. Awesome. My husband's like, halfway through, put more on. Yeah, 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 it's so awesome. So that's great. Or sometimes, like, if I'm making like a small challah roll. In but it has salt in it. Yeah, it's totally, yeah. We tasted it first, and my husband's like, I don't want it if it doesn't have salt. I'm like, totally. Yeah, yeah. Or uh, Geffen also makes this coarse flake sea salt, which is great if you're like into a salt bagel. Or it's like a pretzel kind of feeling. Oh. I put that on top, but I want to do it on a huge challah. I would do it like on a small roll, and that's awesome. I love it. But, or is that supposed to go behind the shoulder? I don't yes. know if that goes. Whatevs. Okay, so let's paint it on. Look at us. Okay. So. We're painting. This is going to be a huge challah. This thing is tall, and it also um, it's going to rise even more in the oven. Now, do you guys know the trick for that crunchy hard outside, but that super soft inside? If you know it, it's okay. You can answer yes. No clue. Yeah. Three seven. I'm so I'm interested to see what you do. Three seventy five for ten minutes, and then you bring it down to three fifty, and that gives you that really. Wow. Crunch exterior. I do that, but I didn't actually know why. Yeah. <laughs> My kids don't like it too crunchy. Right, so that depends. So then don't yeah. do that. Yeah. I, yeah. Okay. So how do you? So how do you do it? Three fifty the whole time. Three fifty. Yeah. For how long? Like for something this um, big, how long would you do? Well, usually I'm not just baking one challah. I'm baking right. two or three. So generally between thirty-five and forty minutes. Right. Yeah. So I'm somewhere between if I'm doing garlic knots or something small in the fifteen to twenty minute on the low end for those smaller things, and then sometimes up to an hour for something this right. this dense. But right, so then Hadassah, if your kids don't like the crunch on the outside, like we take out like a saw. Like, like I love that, that outside crunch and that inside soft. But I'm like that with my potato kugel too. The well done and crunchy and like mm -hmm. brown on the outside. My kids also don't love it so well done on the outside. And that like putting the center. You use a lot of egg. Yeah. Yeah, well it rises a lot in there, you'll see. But it makes it nice and brown and it rises a lot. Would you like to do the honors tomorrow? I bought this last week for the first time. Right, did you use the eggs? Went we're crazy totally over we're it. psycho over it. I know. Yeah. I bring extra to the table and we're like dipping in the inside bread stuff. I told you, Nachum was like, oh, this is too light of a hand for our really? house. Yeah, Be yeah. generous. Okay. Yeah, like really. Like, like that? More than Yeah, if we were taking like a fancy food right. picture, we would just do a nice light sprinkle. Right. In light, you want to just like smother the thing. And Nachum was like, halfway through when it rises, put more in to get in all the crevices. Oh, okay, so we're walking. It's over, 375. Actually, tomorrow you want to set that for 15 minutes, or for 10 minutes? Uh-huh. And place it right here, where it's got plenty of room to rise. Okay? So about 375 for 10 minutes, and then about half hour, an additional half hour, 40 minutes, we gotta, we'll take looks at it to make sure at 350, until it's ready. So can I get a round of applause, ladies? We worked on this together. Our mm. big, fluffy, delicious, crunchy on the outside. You can just see how much it rose, and it's like fluffy and soft and light on the inside. Six braid challah, and I'm gonna break into it on Shabbos. You could come over. Thank you. That's you're around the block. You could come over too if you were around the block. Yeah. Okay, fine. Recipe at joyofkosher.com. Enjoy.